It was the reunion of a lifetime for one humble family desperately searching for their puppy for over a year. This weekend, the search ended more than 200 miles away in shirts. Eyewitness News reporter Jalisa Irizarry has the story of one dog's homeward bound adventure. This is a story about the power of a cell phone. Yes, we know what they're all capable of storing photos, information, making phone calls, creating connections. But if all those things didn't happen, this story would not have a happy ending. Like we were completely just sad and, and I was just so mad at myself. Yesenia Gomez still remembers the day. Her 10 month old pup went missing. We stepped out to go to the store really quick and we have a yard. When we came back, Roxy was nowhere to be found. We went to like shelters and they would tell us, you know, that they haven't found her and if they would pick her up, they would call us because she has a chip. But a year passed, that call never came. But an alert did three months ago, telling Yesenia that Roxy's chip subscription with all of her information would soon expire. She was on the fence on renewing it. Should I even do this? Is it worth, you know, paying? you know, to keep her information on there. My boyfriend's like, you know, you should do it. You should just pay, you know, you never know. Yesenia decided to keep Roxy's information up to date. And three months later. Hi, this is um, Church Animal Services. I was calling in regards to Roxy. I couldn't believe it was her. We looked it up and I was like, sure, it's Texas. That's three hours from here, you know, in San Antonio. That dog had quite a trip to be that far away. Shirts Animal uh, Services says Roxy was brought by someone who said they found her by one of the schools. We scanned her and she had a microchip and the uh, information was up to date. And so we were able to contact the owners. And in just a couple of days and hundreds of miles away, Yay. Roxy was finally going Thank home. I was just so happy. I don't know what the story is, how she ended up three hours from here in San Antonio. All Yesenia does know is that she's grateful for that chip and keeping that line of communication open and for never giving up. For so long, I just had this feeling like something was just broken inside of me. I feel complete. I feel whole again. Jalisa Rosari, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News.